Francis, who's uh, an owner and operator of the Chief of the Hospital uh, Richmond Street in Charlottetown, and uh, Victoria Roll. Uh, you can tell how far behind the times I am. <laughs> so, Chris, how long have you been here? Uh, we've been here, we're starting our third summer on Victoria Road, in this current location. And what got you in the coffee business? What got me in the coffee business originally was Tim Hortons, whenever I was 14 years old, but um, I'd always drank coffee, it was always in our life. Uh, and I started working at a cafe at one point and started using the espresso machine, and really people didn't know how to use them. And it was just the pursuit of learning how to do that that got me excited. Once I figured that out, it was the next step as well as I wanted to learn more about that. And just been uh, picking away at it ever since. And you're offering a great product to the public. And, it's, uh, and you're really with your supply chain with an interesting approach where you go right back to know where the coffee's coming from. Yeah, exactly. Like, Transparency is a huge part of our roast to philosophy. Uh, our restaurant, too. And I think coming from EDI, you know, being so close to farmers, so close to producers, it kind of speaks to me in that, you know, you, you want to know where everything's coming from, you want to be able to support the farmers as much as you can. With coffee, it's easy to forget about that because it comes from other countries so far away. You know, that, the importance of that transparency is still there, and it's, it's a little more logistically difficult, but it's, you know, it's, it really resonates with me being from with your sandwiches and your other offerings, uh, you sort of make an extra effort for, the, for that to be local. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you know, our bread we get from Breadworks, and on Nail we get seafood from MRC. You know, we're as many local producers as we can be. So, when I would figure your kind of entrepreneurial street or your uh, inclination for being from? It's kind of a tough one. I'm, I'm not really sure. I mean, I, I have a strong passion for what we do in coffee. Uh, and I really like working with people and serving people and that connection that you make, uh, especially in a small community like Charlottetown. So I think it's just fun and exciting. And, uh, I like the fact that the time is day to day, constantly facing different problems. And some days I don't always love that, but you know, it's, it's just uh, the excitement of it. I think that's what I really love about it. And last year you were recognized by Junior Achievement nationally as one of their kind of graduate stars. Well, yeah, I mean, that would have been my first real push for the business, would have been Junior Achievement. And at the time, I, I, didn't, I didn't know how much it had influenced me. But now that we're doing it, I think about it all the time. Um, I think it's an awesome program that I'd like to be involved with more. You see more of it involved with it. Because, you know, whether you realize it or not, if you participate in it, it's going to influence how you approach things. And uh, it really gave me a, maybe an edge that I didn't realize that I had just to you know, keep moving, constantly be working. So would you say there's a kind of a buzz or a scene here in downtown Charlottetown? I think so. I really think, I mean, between tourism and people just recognizing uh, that there's so much to be taking not so much of being offered in Charlottetown and so much potential here. But I think people are starting to realize, you know, you can go to Toronto you know, or you can and, you know, be a part of something that's happening or young people can be here, staying here and a part of what's changing and really influencing what happens. Which is why I've stayed I've stayed for that reason. We're glad you did and you can see it back here and I'm sure in the background of this conversation. There's a real uh, buzz here today, so it's a good word.